All right. How'd you do on these challenge questions? I mean, we only have a couple weeks left of school. How are you doing? Are you getting to the point where you're mastering them? Are you getting more right than you were in the beginning of the year? And I really hope that that answer is yes. Um, and this is the place where you're going to get stronger. So you know which ones you got wrong. Let's try to figure out the right answers, okay? So let's start with A. Let's start with A. <clears throat> Remember when you subtract with decimals, the only thing that you really have to do is make sure that you line up the decimals. So we have 8.52. 8.52 is what we have. That's so therefore it goes on top. And then what we're taking away from is 2.37. And then when the decimal is lined up, then we know that all the numbers are where they need to be. I have two, I lose seven, that's illegal. So I'm gonna come over here and borrow. I have 12 and lose seven, that's five. I have four and lose three, that's one. And I have eight and lose two, that's six. So that answer is 6.15, 6.15. Let's go to B, I, I have to make sure that uh, I'm throwing in these operations now because I feel like we've kind of gotten away from this practice. So 29 plus uh, times 35, my favorite method is the lattice method, um, but of course you can use whatever method works for you. So I'm going to write my 29 on the outside and then my 35 on the outside. And then I fill in each box by multiplying what's in the row and column. Nine times three is 27. Three times two is six. Got to make it a double digit. Five times two is 10. Got to make it a double, oh, that is a double digit. And then nine times five is 45. I'm finished with the outside numbers. And now my answer is just going to fall down. So five falls down here. Seven plus four is 11. Six plus two plus two is 10, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then the one falls down, so therefore that answer is 1,015. Let's go over to B. I'm sorry, D. Whoa, all right, let's go over to C. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Select all that represent dividing 6 by n first, and then subtract 8. So this one is not... Divide 6 by n first. So <clears throat> this one is divide 6 divided by n. So 6 divided by n and then subtract 8. This one works. This one is this one is 6 divided by n first, but it's not then subtracted by 8. Why? Because 8 is first, so 8's what you have. So it'd be 8 and then subtract 8. The answer of 6 divided by n. So this it, it probably tricked a lot of you guys. You guys probably chose this one. However, the, this is 6 divided by n taken from 8. It's not um, 6 divided by n and then subtract 8. Because subtracting 8 would be on this side. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So this one barely didn't make it. Um, 6 divided by n minus 8. This one works. 6 divided by n minus 8. And then 6 minus 8 times n. This one does not work. And then 6 times n minus 8. This one does not work. So the answer is D and B. Let's go down to 2004 divided by 12. 2004 goes on the inside and we're going to divide it by 12. Well, we're going to make groups of 12, and the first thing that we're going to go into is 20. You could take away one group of 12 from 20, and then there's 8 left over. Bring down the zero. You have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72. So 6 groups is 72. We have 8 left over. Bring down the 4. And then 12, 24. If this is 24, this is 48. And if that's 48, then this is 96. Yikes. So 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84. So 7 
would be 84. So the answer is 167. Now let's jump over to 12 and 2 thirds. 22 and 5 6. And we are going to add those together. Now remember, the denominator is the name of the fraction. Oops. The denominator is the name of the fraction. And right now they have two different names. So they could transform into anything that you can count by. So 3 can turn into 3, 6, 9, 12. 6 can turn into 6, 12, 18, and so on and so forth. So the first thing that they could both turn to is 6. And look at 5, 6 already is 5, 6. And then 2 thirds, it takes two threes to make six. Therefore, two thirds is going to turn into four six. Four six plus five six, nine six. And nine six is bigger than a whole. How do I know? Because six six make a whole. And I have nine of them. So I have six six and I have three six. So I can get rid of this. I can then take the six six and put it up here because it's a whole. And then what do I have left? I have 3 6 left. Well, what is 3 6? 3 6 is 1 half. It's the same thing as 1 half because I can simplify it by 3. 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. 2 plus 1 is 3. So the answer all day is 35 and 1 And then let's go to this final one. It says, <clears throat> is the first step subtraction? Is the first step here subtraction? Well, remember, it's please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So here are your tiers. You have four different steps. First, anything in parentheses. Well, there aren't any parentheses here. So therefore, when there, you don't have that, you don't have this, you don't have this. This is the first step that we have. So is it addition then subtraction? No. When they're equal to each other, you go left to right. So this one is subtraction first. Here, the first step would be subtraction again. Here, the first step is Ooh, you always divide and multiply before you add or subtract. And then here, ooh, this one's tough. Here's a parenthesis. You always want to do what's in parentheses first. But if there's parentheses inside of parentheses, you have to do that first. So this one is actually you add first. So the answer there is yes, yes, no, no. Okie dokie. All right, let me clear this stuff and kind of tell you what we're doing for math today. All right, so remember, because of the M step, I wanted to make sure that everybody understood everything that fifth grade has to offer. So I sped through unit seven and unit eight. That's why now that M step's over, we are reteaching unit seven. So what we're doing today is we are actually going to go over the unit seven test review. Okay. And you can find the unit seven test review in your math book. So I'm going to ask that you take out your math book right now. And then when you take out your math book, you are going to go to page 305. Go to page 305. What we are going to do today and tomorrow is we are going to um, complete this test review. So how many questions do we have here? We have about 20 questions. So what we will do today is we will go over one through 10. Okay, so today we are responsible for going over one through 10 and then tomorrow we will complete 11 through 20. So if you're on a roll and you want to keep rocking, that's fine. But today, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you right now work on questions 1 through 
10. Try your best. And then at 1030, we can go over and go over all the answers of 1 through 10. And we will see how ready you are um, for the Unit 7 test. All right. So I will see you guys at 1030. And I hope you are ready to go over this Unit 7 review. See you at 1030.